Hi, I'm Miss Hatcher, and this is Cleopatra. Today we're going to tell you about thunderstorms and lightning. So I bet a lot of you have questions about how thunderstorms are created and where does lightning come from. We'll sit back, relax, and we're going to show you a short video, and it's going to explain to you probably all of the questions that you have. Enjoy. Let's talk about thunderstorms. What's a thunderstorm? A thunderstorm is a storm with lightning and thunder. It's reduced by Columbia's cloud, usually producing gusty winds, heavy rain, and sometimes hail. What causes a thunderstorm? Thunderstorms form when an air mass becomes unstable, that it overturns violently. Unstable means that the air in the lowest layers is unusually warm and humid, or that the upper layer is unusually cool or oftentimes both. Pockets of rising near-surface air in an unstable air mass expand and cool, and as some of the water vapor presents condensates into a cloud, it releases heat, which then makes the air parcel if even warmer, forcing it to rise still higher in the atmosphere. If the lower level of air is significantly warm and humid and the higher altitude air is significantly cool, this process continues until the tall convective cloud, the thunderstorm, is formed. The result can be a storm extending as high as 40,000 to 60,000 feet, 8 to 12 miles. The upper portions of the storm, even in the warm tropics, are made of ice. Ice crystals, grapel, snow, and sometimes hail. About 50% of the rain reaching the surface in a thunderstorm originates at ice in the upper reaches of the storm. The updrafts in thunderstorms can be very strong, 50 knots or more, which can help support the weight of hailstones as they grow. Such updrafts cause extreme turbulence for aircraft, which will only fly through the strongest portions of thunderstorms if the pilots have no other choice. Despite the large stresses this puts on planes and their passengers, modern jet aircraft are designed to withstand those stresses. Thunderstorms can occur year-round at all hours, but they are most likely to happen in the spring and summer months and during the afternoon and evening hours. Thunderstorms are most common in the afternoon over land, when daytime heating of the land by the sun causes the lower part of the troposphere to become unstable from higher temperatures and more water vapor in the air or some thunderstorms can form as a result of the upper atmosphere becoming unusually cool due to the approach of an upper disturbance. In this case, storms can form at any time of day even when there hasn't been daytime heating of the lower atmosphere of lower land. There must be a significant water vapor in order for the storm to form. Since cloud and precipitation originates as water vapor, this is the fuel for the thunderstorm. As the storm uses this fuel, it is converted to rainfall. Eventually, the storm stabilizes the atmosphere by using up the excess water vapor and cooling the lower atmosphere and warming the upper atmosphere. Technically, lightning must be produced in order for the resulting cloud system to be called a thunderstorm. Nature's awesome power! It is estimated that there are around 44,000 thunderstorms that occur around the Earth every day. The average thunderstorm releases the energy equivalent of a 20 kiloton nuclear weapon or a small nuclear power plant. There are three main types of thunderstorms, orographic, air mass, and frontal. Orographic thunderstorms are caused by air that is forced up by a mountain or hillside. Air mass thunderstorms are a result of localized convection in an unstable air mass. Frontal thunderstorms occur along the boundaries of weather fronts, cold fronts. Supercell thunderstorms occur when very strong updrafts are balanced by downdrafts. This can allow the storm to resist for many hours. In a supercell, a moist and stable body of warm air may be forced to rise by an approaching cold front. The result is a strong, persistent updraft of warm, moist air. Speeds in an updraft can be as fast as 90 miles per hour. The air cools as it rises. Water vapor condenses and forms cumulus clouds when condensation occurs. Heat, lenten, heat energy is released and helps the thunderstorm grow. At some point, condensation in the cloud, now in the form of water droplets and ice, falls to the ground as rain. A cold downdraft forms as the rain falls. Now that we know thunderstorms cannot be produced without lightning, let's talk about lightning. What's lightning? Lightning is a bright flash of electricity produced by a thunderstorm. All thunderstorms produce lightning and are very dangerous. If you hear the sound of thunder, then you are in danger from lightning. Lightning kills and injures more people each year than hurricanes or tornadoes between 75 to 100 people. What causes lightning? Lightning strikes. Have you ever got a static electricity shock or seen sparks when you take off your jumper? 
When lightning is made, the same thing happens, but on a much bigger scale. Lightning is an electric current. To make this electric current, first you need a cloud. When the ground is hot, it heats the air above it. This warm air rises. As the air rises, water vapor cools and forms a cloud. When air continues to rise, the cloud gets bigger and bigger. In the tops of the clouds, temperature is below freezing and the water vapor turns into ice. Now the cloud becomes a thundercloud. Lots of small bits of ice bump into each other as they move around. All these collisions cause a buildup of electrical charge. Eventually, the whole cloud fills up with electrical charges. Lighter possibility charged particles form at the top of the cloud. Heavier negatively charged particles sink to the bottom of the cloud. When the positive and negative charges grow large enough, a giant spark, lightning, occurs between the two charges within this cloud. This is like a static electricity sparks you see, but much bigger. Most lightning happens inside a cloud, but sometimes it happens between cloud and the ground. A buildup of positive charge builds up on the ground beneath the cloud, attracted to the negative charge in the bottom of the cloud. The ground's positive charge concentrates around anything that sticks up, trees, lightning, conductors, even people. This positive charge from the ground connects with the negative charge from the clouds and a spark of lightning strikes. Did you know lightning is around 27,000 degrees Celsius? That is six times hotter than the surface of the sun.